Hey guys, it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. Some of you have asked how to add a gold or silver or metallic finish on your book edge. This is actually a process called gilding on books. It's a traditional method where they add gold leaf to the edges of the pages. The traditional method requires a lot of patience and tools and supplies that you most likely don't already have or have never heard of. So I wanted to show you a couple of simple methods you can try that are much easier and less expensive. These methods will give you a similar result a shiny metallic finish. You can also experiment with different colors and ombres and gradients, and this will definitely add a nice touch to any of your notebooks or notepads. If you do want to take on the traditional method, I found a really helpful blog post made by Paper Cut Bindery, and I will include that link in the description below. Before we start, I wanna give you a tip on paint to use. While researching which paint to use for these, I experimented with gold wax or rub on, and also metallic markers. Neither of those worked. They just peeled, cracked, or rubbed off when I put my hand on the book edge. I also looked into stronger paints like liquid leaf or gilding paint. They have a really good consistency, however, they are very toxic, and I'm not really into adding toxic paint to things that I'm going to touch a lot with my hands. So just look at the labels of the paint you're looking into purchasing and try to find a non-toxic paint, and preferably one that is opaque. This is so you only have to add one coat of paint to your book project, and then your pages won't stick together. Otherwise, if you use multiple coats, they will end up sticking together. And as usual, I will include a full list of the supplies I use, including links in the video description below. If you're doing this to a handmade book, I recommend doing the gilding before you add covers, end pages, or headbands. In this case, I have a text block that I made, but I already have the end pages and the headbands added, so I'm just going to block those off with some paper and tape. I'm going to use a painting method on this one, so I only needed to add the paper around the edges of it, not the entire book, and taped off the headbands with painter's tape made for delicate finishes so I can easily tear it off without ripping off the paper. Next, press the book with a book press, or you can put it on a tabletop and put some heavy weights on it like books work well. You want to press this so that none of the paint gets in between the pages. Then with a metallic acrylic paint, dry brush it onto the edge of the book. Try to work in an even layer so that you only need one coat, and this is where it really helps to have opaque paint. Turn the book if you need to while still under the weight, so you can repeat the painting process on the other edges. After the paint has dried, remove any paper or tape, and fan out the pages so they aren't sticking together. Although I used only one coat, they still kind of stick together, but they are really easy to separate, and once you do spread them apart, they will stay that way. And now this text block has metallic gold edges. I was quite impressed with this being acrylic paint, and this is probably my favorite method, it's the easiest, but if you want to go for a spray route, here's another one you can try. This time I'm using a finished book that has already been bound, and I need to wrap the entire book so that none of it gets sprayed. I'm using the same painter's tape to go along all the edges that I don't want to get sprayed gold. It also helps to add a scrap piece of paper on the ends because somehow the spray does get in there and it just gets a little on the end pages, so just put that in there to protect those. Another extra step, let's say this book has been on the shelf for a while and it's dusty, you want to make sure to brush any of that off so you don't get a weird texture after the paint. Here's to show you the setup that I did outside. I placed a cardboard box, which I don't mind getting painted on, on top of the book and then added the weights inside that so that they don't get sprayed. With a metallic gold spray paint made for crafts, take everything outside or in a well-ventilated area. It helps to wear gloves and a mask and spray in light strokes. Let the paint dry before you move the book and repeat the same process on the remaining edges. You only need one coat for the entire book and follow the drying time on the paint label to let it dry completely. Then remove any of the paper and tape, and now this book has a metallic gold edge. This method took a little longer than the acrylic paint, but you don't have to worry so much about the pages sticking together. And you don't have to just stick to gold in any of these methods. I thought it would be fun to experiment with different colors on this hardcover composition book that I made. So I wrapped the book in scrap paper and taped off the edges in the same way and took it outside to try three different colors on the edges. 
The paints blended well together, however the pink that I used was kind of a cheap spray paint and it ended up cracking off. I removed as much of the peeled off paint as I could with a dry brush and it looks like the pages soaked up some of the pink color so it still had the same effect, but lesson learned, don't use cheap spray paint. Overall, I still think it came out pretty cool, and if you want a similar look on the other method, you can try blending on different colors of acrylic paint. If you do go the spray paint route, try to find a spray paint that is for wood and craft projects. Otherwise, if they don't say anything like that at all on the label, they will most likely end up cracking or peeling off your book, much like it did on mine. You can also add a clear coat of spray varnish if you want to add extra protection to your book edge. Hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed to see more book related projects. Follow me on my social links down below for updates and sneak peeks of future tutorials. If you are feeling like you want to jump into another project, check out one of these right here. Links will be in the video description below. I will see you guys next time.